The Dubai Marina is a large canal excavated from the desert, bringing the waters of the Persian Gulf inland to create a waterfront property development. On completion, it'll be able to claim the title of the world's largest man-made marina. It's already well on its way to achieving this. And Dubai Marina Canal is 3.5 km long and the channel itself is completely man-made. And this is 5 meters deep right here. So 15 years before, these are all desert, no canals, no buildings right here. But after 15 years, around 300 buildings. This construction boom has taken Arabian and world architecture to new levels in skyscraper design and technology. But the old city along the Bur Dubai Creek is where the Bani Yas tribe first settled the area two centuries ago. Partha Sawaraka guided us through the shipping and merchant life that the city is founded on. So these are called the Abra. Yeah. And they're used as water taxis for crossing from one shore to the other. Very quick, very cheap. Normally crossing the Abra, crossing the creek by Abra costs only one dirham. So uh, that's why very popular. Thousands of people in Dubai are using it every day. Dows from China and India have long offloaded goods along this salt creek for markets which are the heartbeat of Dubai's traditional economy. Varda, where are we now? We are in this part of the city which is called Suks, which means markets. So we have the spices souk right behind us and that is full of spices, dried fruits and nuts. There are frankincense and saffron, all kinds of products which are very popular here. So as we walk through the little street, you'll see it's very colorful, very aromatic. This is called the city of gold for the sheer amount bought and sold here. Now this is a big ring. You want to buy this? <laughs> well, it's not for sale. It's on display here, the world's largest gold ring. If you don't believe me, you can check out the Guinness certificate right there. Well, I'm sure a lot of men are happy that this is not for sale. Talk about bling, bling. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The gold jewelry is impressive, but for a more affordable gift, you can't beat a magic lamp from the heart of Arabia. You're trying to get Genie to come out of the lamp now? Hey, it's worth a try, bro. <laughs> Let's try. When you're done searching for magic lamps, Atlantis the Palm is a fantastical island getaway in the middle of the city. It's a full 39 degrees today, so I thought it fit to cool down in one of the top five water parks in the world. Yes, I'm talking about none other than the Aquaventure Water Park here in Dubai. It's 17 hectares of adrenaline pumping rising slides and Dubai's largest aquarium. This place can keep you occupied and entertained for days. The 10 million litre aquarium supports an ecosystem of 65,000 marine animals. Or if adrenaline is more your scene, try the ride they call Poseidon's Revenge. In my count, three, two, one. Whoa. Harmony hits 60 kilometers an hour, riding on nothing but his rear. Ah. Wow! <laughs> How successful has all of this been in attracting tourism? The figures are the envy of any city, as visitor numbers have grown from almost 15 million in 2016 to an expected 20 million tourists next year. To put that into perspective, it's the same number as there are building blocks, making up the skyline of this incredible display. Miniland is filled with beautiful replicas of iconic buildings in Dubai and this Burj Khalifa is no exception. This stands at 17 meters using 439,000 building blocks to create the tallest Lego building in the world. Beyond keeping the young entertained, this interactive display gets Dubai's children interested in civil engineering, design, construction and a hands-on attitude to building. I grew up with Legos and judging by the smile on my face, you can see this, this is one of my happiest places. 
It's crazy to think that someone actually gets paid to build these. What a job. <laughs> I feel like a child in a candy store. <laughs> Two hours in here and we didn't see one bored child. Uh, no adult for that matter. Welcome to Bollywood. This is the first ever Bollywood theme park in the world. If there's a blockbuster of Indian cinema, then chances are there's a scene or character from it in Bollywood Parks Dubai. As for fans of motorsport, the Autodrome will teach you to drive a racing car, offer full safety briefings, clothing, helmets, and a professional instructor like Saeed bin Talk to guide you out on the circuit. You allow both experienced and novice drivers and even offer driving training. Yeah, of course, like especially tr during track days, we open it to the club so people who have never been here before can drive and, and as part of the driving, we teach them how the circuit runs, how to drive on a track and all the basics into circuit driving. So which car is mine? So basically what you're going to drive today is called Formula DXB. It is the most basic form of a Formula car. It teaches you all the basics on to and how to drive a Formula race car on a track. What is the fastest a car has ever gone here? Basically, we see a lot of different cars around here, especially in track days, you know, the fastest, I'm sure, maybe 300, 300 plus kilometers an hour, so that's pretty quick, you know, for a road car. Even race cars go quicker as well. <laughs> the speed clearly went to our presenter's head a little. Extraordinary, magnificent. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a new world champion, and his name is Harmony Kedalandi. Wow, how incredible was this? So much adrenaline, so much power under this bonnet. Ah, I want to do it again. I really want to do it again. Can we go? <laughs> there was just time to freshen up for our dinner with Byron Naidu at the steakhouse voted twice as best in Dubai. What is the inspiration behind Prime 68? Prime 68 is one of the top steakhouses in Dubai. Um, it's more of a retro chic steakhouse. Um, it's got more of the black and white feel to it, where you're coming in for a good dinner, anniversary, celebration. I mean, just look at the view. It's absolutely marvelous. Um, we're gonna get started off first with a crab cake, and you've got a little bit of veal bacon to go with it. It's just gonna be a little teaser. Then follow through, we're gonna move through with Atlantic poached lobster salad with some king crab. You've got this amazing creamy vinaigrette that goes with it. Um, along with a little bit of um, vegetable crisps. And then the all-time favorite's gonna be coming out, our meter board. Which answers the question of how many prime cuts you can squeeze into one meter. Wow, Prime 68 is really not playing around when it comes to meat. I hope you guys have a room ready for me because I might be sleeping over after this. Bigger, taller, faster and now juicier, Dubai has definitely lived up to the hype. This is a trip of a lifetime. What's more, getting to and from Dubai is such a pleasure. Emirates fly four times a day from Joburg. Two of those flights on their iconic Airbus A380. For your convenience, they also fly in and out of Cape Town twice daily and once a day from Durban. In first class, you can network over delicious canapes and exclusive beverages in the A380 onboard lounge. Choose from thousands of entertainment channels and take a shower before retiring to a turned down bed. Savor the best of the good life all the way home. <laughs>